Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, each Sunday as we gather around this table, it's usually a time of quietness and reflection. Yet we celebrate the joy and sense of joy and celebration of the fact that as we come here, we remember what Jesus has done for us. But it's almost instinctive as we gather here that all of a sudden there's a sense of quietness that comes over us as a body of believers. I heard a story about a monk who was given the duty to bring the message to the other brothers in the monastery on that particular day. He had never given a message before. And he told them that he would be preaching on the love of Christ. And they thought that was quite unique because it would be very difficult for him to come up with anything original that would impact them. But they still gave him the mission to do that. So as they gathered, gathered that evening for their devotional, as he got up to speak, the lights went out. And he lit a candle. And he took that candle to the crucifix that was behind him. And he showed the light on the wounded feet of Jesus. And then he moved to the wounded hands of Jesus. And then he moved the light the wounded side of Jesus. And then he moved it up to the wounded brow of Jesus. He blew the candle out and he dismissed the crowd. Did he preach a sermon? Well, for each and every one of those people that were there, it was a sermon on the wounds of Jesus. As we gather here this morning, something happens to us as we look at the bread, the broken body of our Lord, and as we look at that cup with the fruit of the vine that represents his blood silently bread speaks to us and the fruit of the vine speaks to us. And we could talk a long time about the impact of Jesus' sacrifice on our lives. But really, it doesn't take any rhetorical flourishes for us to be able to show the great impact that he has had on us. The suffering of Christ speaks to us in the quietness of the time as we're gathered here. And that is a sermon worth listening to for all of us. Will you pray with me? Our God, you're an awesome God. And yes, this time as, as we gather here is so communal as a body of believers, but it's so individual. Because each of us have experienced different things this week and know you in a different way this week than we did last week. And as our love continues to grow and flourish with you, we pray that as we partake of this bread this morning, that you will help us to remember that body that lived on this earth, that body that endured pain and suffering, that body that was laid in the tomb, that body that was resurrected. Father, we pray that you will bless us this morning as we partake for this our prayer in Christ's name. Amen.
with us. Our God, we're mindful of the sacrifice that you made in giving up your son. And for the impact that has on mankind, for each and every one of us through eternity. Father, we love you so much. As we partake of this fruit of the vine, we know the cleansing power that comes from the blood that was shed, the blood that gives us hope, the blood that gives us fulfilling promises, the blood that gives us life. Father, we pray that you be with us as we partake of this fruit of the vine today. For this is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen.